Welcome everyone, you're watching Computer Tech TV and I am Rick Arter. Well for all of you guys who have been patiently waiting for the new Zambezi FX or AMD's bulldozer CPUs to come to the market, now we have a official launch date according to industry sources. A few days ago uh, there was an article posted on techpowerup.com basically that the first wave of FX series high performance desktop CPUs will be launched on September 19th of 2011. Now, a few things have changed. Mainly, uh, there's a lot of people that were talking about the FX8130P being the highest end CPU that they were going to release of the 8 cores. Well, that's actually changed slightly. It's just going to be the 8100. And actually, once the first series is released, uh, the first quarter of 2012, they are going to come out with a second round of product launches with faster models based off the original models, like the um, 8100 is going to get replaced by the 8120, the 6100 will be replaced with the 6120, and the 4100 will be replaced with the 4120. So, um, and the high end for right now will be the 8150 will be the 8 core, comes in at 3.6 gigahertz for the core speed and 4.2 gigahertz for the turbo core. The 8170, which will be coming out, like I said, the first quarter of 2012, unless things change. Uh, will be rated at 3.9 gigahertz with a 4.5 gigahertz turbo core. So that's going to be a very impressive CPU because it, uh, all these CPUs, uh, the highest end range ones, they are only 125 watts. So very impressive clock speeds and hopefully really good performance, although we have not seen any benchmarks yet. And I've actually heard that the um, 8100 series, the A cores, are actually going to run in the same price range as what the 2600Ks go for now, which is a little over $300 last I checked. So like I said, this really is going to depend on what the benchmarks are. The benchmarks are higher than expected, the price is going to go up a little bit, but if they are you know, on par with what they're saying now, they should be in the low to mid $300 range. But don't quote me on that. So guys, if you want to check this out, I'll put the link below. You guys can check out more information. they got some graphs and some other stuff there about what's supported, what the CPUs will feature. And you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching. More videos to come.